channel. Thanks so much for watching. So today my nails are bare, which is so weird for me, but that is because today we are trying out a new nail dip system called Nail Pop. So Nail Pop is a complete starter kit that has everything that you would ever need for dip for your nails to do at home. I love dip. I'm a huge fan. It lasts so long. You can get creative, do what you want. So I'm going to show you everything that comes in this new Nail Pop box. I have mine right here. I'm really excited to show it with you guys. I have not opened it yet, so we're going to go through this together. And I have not tried it yet, so we are going to try this together. If you'd like to try it out for yourself, they're having a grand opening offer of $39 right now, so definitely take advantage of that. That is the cost for a one-time visit at a salon. So you get an entire starter kit for the same price and it'll last you a long, long time. So I have a few announcements before we get into this video. One is to be sure that you are subscribed to this channel. We are holding a huge 100k giveaway once this channel reaches there. We're super excited. We're going to have multiple winners. It's going to be huge. You don't want to miss it. So make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already. Tell everyone you know to subscribe and share the videos on this channel. It helps so much. Also, I just made a Facebook page for my channel, which is really cool. You guys have been asking me for like the longest time to make it. I finally just made one, so I'll have the link in the description. Also, be sure to check me out on Instagram. Follow me there. I do monthly giveaways on Instagram. And check out my blog. I just completely redesigned it. I have a few new blog posts. I have so much work into that, and I'm so proud of it. So be sure to check it out. I also hold monthly giveaways on my blog as well. So all of my information, all my pages, all my links is in the description box. So be sure to check it out. Okay, now that I'm out of breath, <laughs> let's jump into this video, and I'm going to show you my nail pop starter kit. So here is my nail pop starter kit. It says your nails your way and it has a really fun pretty pink color and a nice design on there. This is a really nice box. I have the neon color starter kit. They have three different starter kits and I'm pretty sure you can choose whatever one you want to. Okay so when we open the box the first thing that we see is this really cute font with a bunch of words like art, creativity, love, nails, beauty, your nails your way. And then, wow, this whole box is completely filled. So the first thing I see is this little sheet. And it looks like it has all the instructions on it, which is really nice. This is also a placemat to protect your tabletop or wherever you're doing your nails. So I really like that. We're gonna set that right here. Oh yeah, this is cool. It says start here and it gives you the directions and you kind of like make your way down. This is really helpful. Okay, this is really fun. Where do we start? I don't know. Okay, let's start with the colors. So these are huge. Wow, these are really heavy and made of glass, which is really nice. Okay, so I have the neon a starter kit. So we have a really pretty like neon orange. It's coming up a lot darker on camera, but girl, that is a neon orange. <laughs> now these are premium dip medical grade powders. Um, they're also made here in the USA. And let's see, what size is this? Um, this is 15 ml. So there is a lot of powder in here. Next color. Here, whoa. Okay. We're going for the yellow. We have a neon yellow, like high vis yellow. Wow. Okay. We'll set that right there. I love that these are made of glass. And wow. Okay. That's really pretty. It's a neon pink and it almost matches the color of the box. That is beautiful. Okay. Here are the three colors. Love them, so cute and so fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun with those. So I'm seeing a little buffer block, which these are awesome because they're so tiny and they're just like perfect for your nails. And it says there's three of them in here. I have two. Where's the third one? Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, these are awesome and I love that they provide three of them. Okay, next back here is a full grit file, double-sided. So that is awesome for shaping your nail. Okay, next I'm seeing these things, which I've never seen these in a nail kit before. These are powder pipettes. So when you get a little low on your dip powder, which is gonna take a really long time, you can still use up all of the dip that's in the container by this little pipette. So you can, you know, squeeze in from the bottom and then pour over your nail. All right, next are all of the liquids. Here is the bond. Here is the base. Here is the sealer, and they're numbered too, which is really nice, so you know what step to go in. Here is the activator, and here is the brush saver. All right, so here is everything that was in the box, an instruction sheet, and also like a table protectant. 
three of these nail buffers, five liquids, three big containers, big glass containers of medical grade dip powder, three powder pipettes, and a grit nail file. I also want to show you if you go to their website, you can go down to tutorial and it has a step-by-step -step tutorial instructions on how to do this. Like step one, all of their tips with pictures. It goes on to step two. This is really helpful. Um, I definitely suggest reading this so you don't miss any information. Um, and you also have this placemat too. So this is so easy. If you know how to put nail polish on and use a nail file, you can certainly do this step. Don't underestimate yourself. It's very easy, easier than what you think. And practice definitely makes perfect. <laughs> So these are all numbered one, two, three, four, and five. So it's really easy to keep track of the steps. They also have the same steps and instructions right on here. Um, it does say to shake the powder and then they are sealed. So you wanna take off the seal. Also make sure that you have paper towel down. I'm really happy I did that because it can get a little, little messy. <laughs> wow, that is insanely Right, these colors are all so beautiful. I don't know what ones to use. What do you guys think I should do? All three? Just one? Two? Hmm, I don't know. I have to think. All right, so we're all set up here. First thing that it says to do on the sheet is to push back your cuticles, which I've already done. Um, shape and buff your nails and then wash your hands after so first you want to use this file to shape your nails whether that is oval or square whatever have you um, I kind of like the square look um, so I just I'm gonna quickly go over and shape these the way I want them Okay, so my nails are filed. Next, you're gonna wanna buff the top layer of your nail. And you wanna just do this gently enough to get off the oil. Um, and you'll know that it's buffed once it looks matte. Once that shiny layer is off of the top of your nail. So it should look something like this. So I'm gonna do this to all of my nails and then it says to go wash your hands, but do not use soap. So basically just like rinse underwater. Okay, my nails are rinsed. I also want to mention that I am following all the steps that are on their website um, because it's super helpful and I don't want to like miss anything. I want to do this the proper and right way so that I have nails that last a really long time. So make sure that you're also following this along with this little placemat here. So first thing is to put the Bond Gloss on every single one of your nails. This is going to help keep everything intact. It's going to help with preventing lifting. Okay, the Bond layer is done. Step Step two is the base, and the base is kind of like the glue that is going to keep the powder sticking to your nail. It says to do a very thin layer and for the first coat to avoid the cuticle area. So we're just going to go like maybe like a third of our way up the nail. A little of this goes a really long way, so make sure you get as much off of the brush as you can. Otherwise, you're going to have too much and you're not going to have that thin layer that you want. All right, let's go into the pink. It says to go in at a 45 degree angle. Dip it right in. And woohoo, knock the excess off. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's looking a little crazy. All right, this is what layer one looks like. Now we're gonna go in again with the base. Put this right over the area we just did. I'm gonna wipe off my brush so I still have a thin layer. This time I'm gonna go up to my cuticle line. Okay, and that is what layer two looks like. And that honestly looks really opaque and it looks like it's a really deep, rich color. So I think two layers is gonna be good enough for this. All right, we're gonna continue on to the index finger and I'm gonna show you again just one last time before I speed through and do the rest of the nails. So, oh, I have some pink dip on there. I'm just gonna wipe that off. Okay, again, wiping off the excess and I'm gonna do a thin layer about a third way up my nail. Okay, and I think this time I'm gonna go into this yellow. Oh, I have a lot of pink on my finger. All right, let's go in with the yellow. Eee, I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? Oh my gosh. This is definitely something way out of my comfort zone, which is a good thing. Um, this is definitely a fun color and this is gonna be like really fun nails. That is just one layer, that's insane. Let's do one more and this time I'm gonna go out to the cuticle line. This powder is really fine and really nice. There is a little bit of a smell to it. 
um, and obviously it is a bit messy here. Make sure you definitely have paper towel. But this is really nice quality medical grade dip. I really like it. All right, dip, tap off the excess, and wow, layer two. Completely opaque, completely covering the nail bed. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my nails. I'm gonna speed this up, and I will see you when both of my hands are done. All right, wow, we're looking a little crazy right now. Um, my tip here is to grab paper towel and wipe off the excess powder. It comes off really easy. It's easy to clean up, but it does kind of get everywhere, as you can see on the paper towel. So make sure you are protecting your surroundings and be careful like what you touch. Definitely wipe off your fingertips. I also want to mention that between each color, if you are doing a color pattern like I am, make sure to wipe off the brush on a paper towel each time because it does pick up a little bit of the color and you don't want to transfer it back into the bottle. Okay, so next we're going to put number two away. We'll clean that off when we're done. And next is step number three, which is the activator, which is going to seal in the liquid with the powder and kind of harden the mix. And it says to do this in three quick strokes. One, two, three. And it says to let this dry for three to four minutes. So I will do all of my nails and I will be right back. Okay, once the activator is dry, then it says to repeat the base and the dip on every single nail one more time. And again, we're gonna use the same method, but the first layer, we're just gonna go about the third way up. Dip, tap off the excess, get another thin layer. And this time we're gonna go up to the cuticle line and get the entire nail bed and dip and tap off the excess and move on to the next finger. All right, so I have two full dip layers on my fingers. All right, now we're gonna go back in with another layer of activator and wait for it to dry for three to four minutes. Okay, next I'm gonna go rinse my hands, get all this dip powder off and then file and shape them and smooth them down. Okay, I have most of the powder off of my hands just by rinsing it with water and patting my hands dry with paper towel. Now I'm gonna go back in with my file and I'm going to file down and smooth out the nails. Okay, so they are filed and buffed to the way that I want them. They're looking really good. Now we're gonna go back in with another coat of the activator since I kind of just filed off the top layer. And same thing again, a few coats over each nail and then you let it dry for three to four minutes. So the next step here says to rinse your hands, no soap, only water. So I will be right back. So next step is the sealer and this acts as the top coat and it's gonna leave a nice shiny finish. You do this in two layers. The first layer is going to be three quick strokes and then the second layer is gonna be a slow strokes with attention to detail covering the entire nail. So let's do that. Three quick strokes. Okay, so one, two, and three. Ooh. Okay, so it says to wait about three minutes in between each layer, and it has been about three minutes. So now for the second layer, it says to do it slow and in detail. And then this is actually the final step, so I'm really excited to see what they look like after this other three minutes has passed, after these are dry. So everything is all cleaned up over there. Make sure you have a lot of paper towels if you do this. So my nails are dry and they look so cute. This is definitely out of my comfort zone, colors I wouldn't normally wear, but this is so fun and I'm so glad that I did it. This is a really high quality kit. The powders are so good. Um, one thing that I noticed that I absolutely love is I didn't have to file or buff for hours, not really hours, but like I would have to spend like a good 10-15 minutes like buffing all of my nails. With this, some of them I didn't even have to fully buff, so that was great. It was so quick. They dried quick and they look great. They're very glossy. I really like this and I'm excited to try other colors. You can buy individual colors, you can buy refills, all of that on their website. So I'm excited to try out some other ones that they have. This is so fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this tutorial and if you'd like to try out a nail pot for yourself, then be sure to check out the description and take advantage of their grand opening offer. Before you leave, make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already. We are on our way to reaching that goal of 100,000. We're gonna have that huge giveaway. You don't wanna miss it. Um, be sure to follow me on all my socials, my Facebook, my Instagram, and my blog um, to keep up with me. I do daily, uh, daily updates, I guess, especially on Instagram, and there's always something going on over there. So be sure to follow me, and yeah, check out the description. All the links and information is there, and I will see you guys very soon in a brand new video. Love ya, bye.